Hi, 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 and welcome to 12 Days of Creativity, the challenge where we make a track in 12 steps during December. You can sign up from the link below, and if you finish this challenge, you have a chance to be the maker of the month. The details on how I decide the winner is in the end of this video. The winner will get an awesome production bundle of goodies. Apogee Boom audio interface, Baby Audio plugin bundle, Envoice One virtual singer plugin, and free one hour one-to-one -one lesson with this girl. So I'll also make a track during December and I'll show techniques in these videos on how I made my track. My track workflow will be that I want to make house track with a lot of color in 120 BPM in E minor. But you can make your track in any genre with any DAW and using whatever techniques you want. So challenge accepted. Let's go. So we're going to start with the kit sound design and some basic house pattern. So we're going to use the drum synths for this. So for our empty drum rack, I'm going to drop DS kick, DS snare and DS hi-hat. So I'm also going to copy the DS hi-hats here. This allows us to design open hi-hat and close hi-hat. The biggest design difference is that for the open hi-hat, just add a lot more decay than to the close one. I love using these ones because they are so flexible with the sound design options. So we're going to start with the four on the floor kick and then adding snare on the every second beat of the bar. And I'm also going to put them slightly off to add a little human effect to it. So now I can use the controls on both the kick and the snare to find the right tone, color, tune, decay. And also I love in the snare because I can put high pass filter and low pass filter. So with the hi-hat pattern, I'm going to put a open hi-hat on every third 16 note of a bar. And with the close one, I'm just going to like drop them in there, add in some rhythm and character. So you can play around with that a lot. So on the uh, IO settings, I'm going to go actually and add on the joke groups, both hi-hats on the number one joke groups. So this means that they cannot play the same time and it will create a lot more realistic drum pattern. And by the way, anyone who signs up for the actual challenge on my website, you're going to get uh, this awesome PDF with 30 MIDI grid patterns for 16 different genres. So this will hopefully help you also with your challenge. So for the snare, I love using some rhythm and also adding some depth using delay and reverb. So I'm going to drop them into the chain of the snare in drum rack. And I know that techno rumble is really like a techno thing, but I really want to use it for this house track. So in drum rack, I'm going to create a return track and I'm going to add the send of the kick into the return track. On that return track, I'm going to add a auto filter and filter all the high end off. Also adding a delay with comeback kit um, as well as IHNY2 parallel compression. How cool is that? So now with the added FX and stuff, the actual channel is peaking a little bit. So I'm going to put minus four decibels on all the chains in drum rack so that we are kind of game staging while we are working. Always good practice. Okay, so now we're going to add a drum rack to the channel. And this is a great way of adding some color and also some definition to the drums. But first, we need to trim it a little bit so that we're gain staging so that it's not peaking again. So I love using the boom because it adds low end enhancement to our track or example, our kick. With the frequency, we can tune the low end enhancement as we want. So I'm going to select E and you can see it from the bottom of the drum bus. So I'm going to add a little bit of drive and now trim it a little bit more and use the transient to add some definition to the rhythm. Now I'm going to select all the hi-hats by selecting the key on the piano roll and then going to the uh, velocity control and click randomize. And the number on the right side of the randomize is how strong is the contrast between the velocity changes. So I usually like pressing that randomize a couple times just to see what kind of different patterns I can get because it does affect the vibe of the hi-hats and the vibe of the song. <laughs> 
So next, I'm going to use one of my favorite plugins, so Contact, and in there, there's Action Strikes. So they can actually actually add so much just vibe and mood and kind of cinematic mood, I think, into the song. And because they're really low again in sub sounds and in low end, I like listening to them in first separately and then together with the tracks just to make sure that they fit together with the original track that we already made, especially with the rumble kick. And because they are using so many similar frequencies. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the original DS kicks, snares and hi-hats, and I'm just gonna use the pitch tool to tune them into uh, E minor in the first place, but also that they really fit together with all the other sounds that we've been making. So in this point, I really wanna make sure that everything, the whole drum uh, sequence that I've created sounds cohesive and sounds kind of exciting and groovy and works together like with the vision I have. Well, I don't really have a vision at this point, but I kind of want to still make sure that the whole track sounds together, cohesive. That's kind of the vibe, isn't it? So now I want to go back into the envelopes of the hi-hats and select the, the pitch modulation option. I'm going to select that whole clip and add the, the shape of a sine wave. And I'm adding this really cool pitch changing modulation curve into them. And it sounds so cool. So part of this process is the fact that I want to challenge you all to focus on the process and not the outcome. And that's why I will pick the maker of the month, not based on whose track is the best or whose tracks I like the most or which track has the best production quality. No, this is not that kind of challenge and this is not that kind of competition. No, the maker of the month will be selected by your process, the journey that you took this December for yourself. So the only person that you want to impress this December is yourself and nobody else. Don't try to impress me or other people, just trying to impress yourself. Just have fun and enjoy the process the best that you can for yourself. In the submission of this challenge, I want you to write a little bit just of this process and what you experienced with the challenge. And that's it. Well, and the discussion continues in Patreon Discord. So join our Patreon Discord from only $1 or £1 a month and you can join and talk with family how everybody else is doing. So see you. See you in day two and good luck with your making.